I think that that my parents have a lot of great qualities, but you know, one that really stands out is a true empathy and sympathy for other people. My father, as a doctor, um, has really focused his practice on helping everybody, and he would never turn patients away, uh, regardless of ability to pay. You know, my mother is the same, you know, very involved in community activities. Um, she was, uh, in particular, involved with Capra Foundation. They've been very strong, uh, and I think they've been very flexible. Uh, you know, they've, they've always been interested in uh, kind of merging different parts of Asian culture and, and uh, Western culture. I think the other thing that we always think about with our parents is how diligent and, and hardworking they are. My mom raised us and I always felt like we kind of held her back because after we all got out of the house, she started doing so many amazing things. I mean, she was a president of several different societies and involved in the Capra Foundation. Uh, we started asking him, I don't know, 15 years ago, when are you going to retire? And he'd say, three more years. And then we'd ask him again, it'd be three more years. And then, you know, the six years would go by and it'd be another three years. And so finally, uh, he's, he's made the commitment to move on to the next stage of life, and we're very proud of him. Well, I did want to say thank you to the St. Francis Healthcare Foundation for um, recognizing um, and honoring my parents in this way. You know, I really do feel that they exemplify your core values of excellence, a caring spirit, integrity, stewardship. I think one thing that has been touched on already today and that a lot of people will mention is that he works so hard. When they got here, they really embraced the culture, and when we were really young, we did a lot of traveling in the United States. If you've ever been in his office or if you've ever been one of his patients, he is always humming. He always has music going through his head. We were just asking him a couple weeks ago what he wanted to do in his retirement, and I know that he aspires to play the piano. Well, Dr. Lee and I both arrived uh, from the East Coast to Topeka in 1972. We are actually both uh, newcomers at that time, and, uh, and naturally uh, we became uh, friends. I have found Dr. Lee to be not only a, um, an excellent surgeon, but more in particular, uh, very warm in the care of his patients. I think he really is a role model uh, for uh, a physician. Ling, she uh, was uh, a very active mother with three boys, and she still found time to participate in community activities, including the medical auxiliary. And of course, she's always been quite concerned about education and uh, almost like a tiger mom. Dr. Lee's contribution has been uh, through his devoted uh, practice to his patients, incorporating the whole family when you have a cancer patient, you incorporate the whole family because the family has cancer. I admire their devotion to helping the medically indigent. Uh, they have never, never in the, all the years backed away from uh, helping a patient even if they didn't have insurance or didn't have even money to pay. Sung Ping has told me many times, he said, you know, someone comes to your office and they're sick, what are you going to do? You have to help them and I think that's a resounding quality that they, they have had. They've supported a lot of organizations with contributions and, and time. Lee Ying and I were on the community concert board together, but she has been very active with uh, arts organizations. They've supported the Children's Discovery Center. Uh, they've been very active in supporting St. Francis Foundation. But Lee Ying is a, uh, to this day, is a dancer and takes ballet lessons. Uh, practices every day and uh, is very involved with ballet. I think she will tell you that it's, uh, it's the best way to keep in shape in a very enjoyable atmosphere. Every patient who's ever been in his office will know uh, the phrase, don't be afraid, you'll be okay. And uh, that's a resounding uh, quality of Song Ping to be so reassuring and caring about the patients. And I wish them the greatest years in retirement to enjoy with their sons and their five grandchildren and their travels that they enjoy so much and uh, just wish them well. Song Peng and Ling, uh, Pat and I wish to congratulate you on this well-deserved honor. 
I just want to say congratulations. Dad, congratulations. I understand that you uh, tried not to accept this award at some point. <laughs> that when they tried to make this appointment, you tried not to schedule so you could see patients. Congratulations, Mom and Dad. Love you very much, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you.